We're in En Gedi, and this is the place in the Bible where David would, was running from Saul. It's, a, it's known as a stronghold and a hiding place. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting in the scriptures, the first time that En Gedi is mentioned, it's a place uh, that says it has six cities. Mm -hmm. So it's a place that people want to settle. It's a hiding place. It's a stronghold. It's a place that we're, we're here now, and you can probably hear the water. There's a lot of water here, yeah. a lot of wildlife here. And in 1 Samuel chapter um, 24, and 25 we hear the story of um, Saul finding out where David is yes and and Saul wanted to kill David because David was anointed by God to be the king right and he was jealous of David and um, so he came after David in a place like this yeah. on En Gedi and then he went to sleep one night in the cave mm -hmm. and David found out about it and many of you have read the story so David goes into the cave at night and he sees Saul sleeping and he and he uh, he cuts he cuts the hem of his garment, which right. had to do with the, the seat seed, the promises of God that God told his people to wear. And immediately his heart smote him. He felt bad. And then he said, I can't do this. I can't right. kill Saul because he's the anointed of the Lord. Right. And the scripture we know teaches us, touch not God. mine anointed. Even when the, the anointed people don't do right, it's not for man. It's not right. for you and I to take them out. Yeah. So here David, his heart smote him. Yeah. He leaves and then we find after that an amazing story that David converses with Saul from across the mountain mm -hmm. and he says he says look I could have I could have killed you Saul but I didn't do it and from that point on my bible tells me it's so powerful that Saul stopped pursuing David why because David chose to honor yeah, he chose not to right. take matters in his own hands yes. so we're in a place where we we all need to understand that today don't take matters in your own hand. You might be with people or know people and and, and you know they're not doing right. You know right. they're not, not, not living right. Don't take matters into your own hand. Right. Still honor. You do the right thing. And what does the Lord's word say? Yes. God says, I will take vengeance yes. upon your enemies. Yes. What do you want to share while you're here in Engedi? I know you just... It's just an amazing place to be here and to understand that when David was here, you know, he wasn't in a, in a home, he wasn't in a beautiful a place that had all the comforts, but he was surrounded by the nature that of God. Mm -hmm. And he, he drew from that. Every, the water, the rocks, the cake, he drew from that. You know, sometimes we feel like we're in a hard place. So we think, where are you, God? Where are you, God? Well, open your eyes. Look around you. There's always something you could give thanks for. Yeah, and we know that probably there was a lot of worship happening yes. on Engedi. And, and David tapped into those natural springs and he saw the spiritual springs yes. and the living water of God. So, hey, taste and see that the Lord is good. We're, we're in Engedi in Israel and we hope that one day you can come yes. with us and enjoy uh, putting your feet uh, in the land of the Bible. Yes. God bless you. Shalom, shalom. shalom.